Introducing the challenger from Stone Mountain, Georgia, Jake the Snake Robert. This is your main event between Devon Dudley and Jake Roberts for the ECW Heavyweight title. These two men have met many times so far. They did not meet each other in the initial Royal Rumble, but Devon Dudley made a great showing, and Jake Roberts won that Royal Rumble in order to get the ECW title initially. With a huge move out of the corner, Jake Roberts with a great counter. Now. Devon Dudley sends Jake Roberts all the way to the other side of the ring. After winning the title, Jake Roberts was put into an Armageddon Hell in a Cell match with the other six, with the other five champions of the respective brands. As Devon Dudley gets a large amount of momentum in the early going of this match, Jake Roberts was not able to win that match and in fact was the only man pinned in that match, adding an added stipulation to that match. Now his opponent being Devon Dudley, the only stipulation suitable would be for it to be a tables match. Now, as Devon Dudley is the current ECW champion, I believe you can understand what happened. Jake Roberts was put through a table. At least that's to a certain extent. The table was broken and he was left floating in air. As Jake Roberts defied gravity against the title match and did not wish to lose his title although it was ruled to be a win by Devon Dudley as Jake Roberts is not able to avoid the strike by Devon Dudley. Now Devon sending Jake Roberts into the corner. We get a great strike to the head and a series of strikes sending Jake Roberts down to the mat and a series of kicks and a choke by Devon Dudley to Jake Roberts. We get a headlock from Devon Dudley and a great elbow to the face. Now as the title changed hands last week and there was a great amount of controversy to the ending, that is why we have this ECW Heavyweight Championship match as our main event here tonight, this time as Hardcore Rules, as Devon Dudley puts a submission maneuver on to Jake Roberts. Jake Roberts able to break that. So we call it the Master Lock. But we get a elbow to the throat to Devon Dudley from Jake the Snake Roberts. Robertson Dudley with a series of moves against each other and a huge suplex from Jake Roberts to Devon Dudley. As they start this match out in the middle of the ring, it's a normal rules match. This is an extreme rules match as I have stated for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. They will undoubtedly go out to the ring. They will undoubtedly get weapons from the crowd. 
and this will be a very hardcore match as his la last week's match in which it was a tables match there was many tables broken throughout that match not just one like in most table matches as they continuously dodge those table shots and would put themselves through tables to try and get the title as we saw a great counter from Drake Roberts using the momentum from Devon Dudley against him and that great atomic drop from Roberts now slamming the head of Dudley he's got to feel a great amount of anger towards Dudley for taking his title when he believes it shouldn't be out of his waistband as we see him now turn Dudley over and go for a camel clutch against Dudley. Dudley is trying to go towards the ropes but instead uses his strength to pick up Roberts and himself off that mat and slam Roberts back against the ground. Now grabbing at Roberts he grabs a head and a great elbow to the face of Roberts. Series of counters now between Roberts and Dudley try and get the momentum back in their favor as Roberts is the first to go to the outside. He tries to grab a guitar from the outside underneath the ring and Devon waits for him and he did, he pays for it by getting a guitar smash over his head. You can see the shell of that guitar now laying on the mat as we hear the crowd cheering and we hear the crowd die down a bit as Devon was sent back into the ring. They are fighting about whether they are going to be in the ring or not. Now, as you see, Devon gets sent into that corner and now sent into the referee. I would think that referee would have been knocked down, but Devon was able to move out of the way before that referee was injured as he got a nice swinging neck breaker onto that lightly padded concrete. There's not much resistance as we get a giant tombstone from Devon to, to Jake Roberts that has injured many a wrestler. That has ended some wrestlers' careers, paralyzing them. As we see Devon going for that high impact move against Roberts. And he picks up Roberts once again and does another tombstone right to the head of Roberts. Right against that lightly padded concrete. And now he's over the announce table. Let's pray he does not do that tombstone pile driver over here. As we see a sidewalk slam from Devon. As ever since this match has gone to the outside, has been in Devon's favor. As we see a scoop slam right into the announce table. He just slammed Roberts into an announce table. Oh my god. And now he sends Roberts into the barricade. What is Devon planning here? He sends him into the barricade once again. As he bounces off that corner. He's going to send Roberts into the barricade once again. And now grabbing Roberts. And once again, repeatedly sending his back and his chest against that unforgiving steel barricade. And now Roberts sending Devon against that steel barricade with a huge headbutt out of the corner. He sends Devon down and now picks him up. But Devon now sends him against the barricade and picks him up and puts him back into that corner. Now we've seen people get put through that barricade like earlier tonight when Ryback was put through that barricade and was not able to get back into the ring before being counted out. As we see, Roberts now spear Devon Dudley right through that steel barricade. But there is no count outs in this match. This is an extreme rules match. Devon can stay outside the ring for as long as he wants. As long as he doesn't get pinned or submit. As Roberts goes for a pin, one, only one count. Devon able to kick out. There's no disqualification, no count out in this extreme rules match. Also fouls count anywhere. As we see that pin from Roberts. As we see Roberts get tossed right over those steel steps. Devon now sliding back into the ring and calling for Roberts to come back into the ring. But Roberts is going to try and come back into the ring with that steel chair. But he's not able to as Devon interrupts him with that baseball slide somewhat. As we get Roberts to hit his Devon's head against that steel pole. Now a kick to the back of the knee as Roberts looks very dizzy now. He's looking for a weapon and so is Devon. Devon is hurt from that spear 
that put him through that barricade. As now, Ro Jake Roberts has a weapon as he smashes that stick against the head of Devon Dudley and repeatedly now against the lower back of Devon. He hits that crutch and now he sends Dudley against that barricade. The huge punch as you can see the ECW title. The title that they are so coveting and fighting over. They're breaking their bodies over. As Devon crushes that guitar and now uses a crutch against Jake Roberts and now hits him in the back with that crutch. Hitting him even more than he was hit. And that diving knee, uh, headbutt was able to miss. As Jake Roberts goes through a pin on the announce table, only one count though. As now, Devon holding his gut. Trying to think of where he wants to go next with this match. Series of counters. And now Roberts sends Devon back into the ring. Because he sends a knee to the face, elbow to the face of Devon Dudley. Roberts now looking for a weapon to use. Might go back to that crutch, but just prowls around our announce table and taunts as Stephen Dudley grabs that crutch and smacks him right in the gob. That crutch might be broken. Both competitors calling for each other. They want each other to bring it. They want to get this match more hardcore. And, and Roberts actually grabbing a table from underneath the ring as we see the crowd cheering. With a nice clap. And Dudley now grabbing not a table because he cannot grab a table from underneath. He was going to go for a chair, but Roberts interrupted him. And now he's going to go for a giant pile driver of his own now against Devon Dudley. Busting open the head of Devon Dudley. He went through two pile drivers. One, two, three. Jake Roberts is able to take back his title from Devon Dudley.